SEMA works with young people to end gender-based violence in Kenya. And we do this in two ways, by changing mentalities and behaviours, and also by changing policy and creating positive policies for gender. As a, as a woman leader and as a feminist, as a young feminist, um, there's a lot of negativity. Only because there's, there's a patriarchal system that operates and it's more subtle in some cultures and it's stronger in others. In my culture, it is pretty strong. So um, if, if you're a strong woman with strong opinions uh, and, and a mind of your own, then it is not really, it is frowned upon. And um, it, it, is, it is ideal that, you know, as a girl you should sit down or as a woman you should, you know, you should be quiet and approachable and, and just say yes to everything. And that's what we're trying to change. And so basically there is, there is every time um, we, do, we do trainings, especially with, with men and boys, then there's a whole defense that comes up. Yeah, because the first thing that someone thinks when they see you is, huh, she's a woman. They don't think about what I can do, what I have to offer. Um, and, and that's, that's the first thing that comes to someone's mind, is that, hey, she's a woman or she's a girl. And so the defenses come up and it's much more difficult to create perception change when the first thought that someone has is that they will not give you the time of the day to be able to do what you want to do. I go home every day and I look at myself in the mirror and um, I remember my mom, my mom is a very strong woman and I was brought up to be a strong woman and so I look at myself and I remind myself that I don't have any apologies to make for being a strong woman um, and, and that is the message that I would like all girls to have first that um, there are no apologies for being a strong woman or a strong girl you know that is who you should be to create change and I I live um, by the mantra that I want to be the change that I want to see. Yeah, I am the change that I want to see. And so if I want to see a world where girls are speaking out, a world where women are speaking out more, a world where women are respected and they're not abused, then I have to be that change myself. And um, that really keeps me going. Every morning I have this ritual. It's just me in front of a mirror and I put sticky notes that are empowering and I tell myself every day. And I think just the fact that that voice is in my head every day and I remind myself means that even when I go out and things are tough, then there is still some voice encouraging me because I have strength in um, the person that I know that I am.